Hello, hello, hello. Today is Tuesday, September 12th, 2023. Here follow the solutions to problem 181 about dispersion in a prism. I have selected Ulf Heller's solution. I could have selected someone else's. Here is the problem. A parallel beam of light containing two wavelengths, lambda 1 of 450 nanometers and lambda 2 is 650 nanometers. It enters an equilateral glass prism as shown in the figure. The refraction index for lambda 1 is about 1.64 and it is about 1.62 for lambda 2. And here you see the prism. So this is the first surface that the light goes through and this is the second surface that the light comes out. The refraction angle after the first surface is about 25.54 degrees for theta 1 and 25.88 degrees for theta 2. So that's the angle after it enters the glass. Angle with the Norman on the second surface, which is here, is of course 60 degrees minus 25.54, which is 34.46, and it is 34.12, for theta 2. So 34.46 for theta 1 and 34.12 for theta 2. This is for theta 1 and this is for theta 2. So now you have to apply Snell's law again because you have to get out of the glass. So he applies science law again. One point six four times the sine of the thirty four point four six degrees, and one point six two times the sine of thirty four point one two degrees. And so he now finds theta one. 68.1 degrees and theta 2 is 65.3 degrees and it was my intention that these two were the correct answers which I will still maintain they are however Eugen smart as he is pointed out that in the picture theta 1 is smaller than theta 2 which is true So theta one, theta 1 is smaller than theta 2, thus theta 1 is the angle for, theta, for lambda 2 and theta 2 is the angle for, theta, for lambda 1. So he argues that the answer should really be theta 1 is 65.3 degrees and theta 2 is 68.1 degrees. I must admit that I overlooked that, but I still maintain, for me, this still is the correct answer, but of course, Eugen's touch is always very nice, as usual. About half of the people of my uh, solutions that I received were correct. Many of you, though, have it totally wrong. So those of you who have it totally wrong, I advise you to study this solution. It's simple high school, there is nothing to it. The math is the most simple trigonometry that you can imagine. And Snell's law is standard high school physics. All right, we'll be friends, as always. 
but of course that is a given.